We're here at Garpot with Lily. Now, Lily, uh, you guys got a unique camera system. I've seen helicopters. I've seen uh, all sorts of different things, but you guys have a system that's pretty much it looks indestructible, and it's designed for applications where pretty much no one could could go. Yeah, it's great. It is it is very solid. It's really sturdy. It's not easily destructible. Um, and it can go basically on all terrain. It can go through sand, mud, even on snow, and it can go straight into the water, and you can continue to control it. It's very maneuverable. It can roll right back onto land afterwards. So now, it's, it's, a, it's a ball, obviously, but it seems to be stable. Are you using technology like similar to a Segway to keep it upright then? Uh, you know, I don't know the technology of a Segway, but what we have inside the guard bot is some pendulum technology. So the center of gravity can stay steady even though the casing is turning or rolling or moving, whatever it's doing. Um, the same goes for the cameras on either side. They're not only attached to that pendulum technology in the center, they also are self-stabilizing within these gimbals. So the picture is quite steady. Now. How can operators see what they're doing? Do you have a wireless system then with that? There's a wireless system. Generally, so far, we've used it so that it's within view, so it's very easily t operated. But we're working on wireless technology that can have us be up to two miles away, in which case you wouldn't be able to see it. So operating would be a different, a different experience. It can also be autonomous and have a GPS inside and find its own way around and find its own way back. So. It's very versatile. So for a system like that, what would you consider the application? Obviously, it's, it can be put anywhere. So who might be most, most wanting to use something like this? You know, it was its original intent was for military use. Um, but now, it's a great commercial tool because it draws attention. There it really isn't anything else like it in the commercial market. It's great advertising space, and it can go places, like you said, where people can't go or don't really want to go. So especially for sports where you don't want to have a bunch of cameramen lined up right on the sidelines, or you could see the, the perspective of a golf ball from where it's hit and actually where it's going instead of up from eye level. You could also have it in the water following boats or swimmers. It could do a whole triathlon following athletes. It wouldn't get tired. It has an eight hour battery life. So it's really powerful. It's got a lot of staying power. And uh, and it, it can go through muddy water and, you know, places that we don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the next sporting event, I'm going to keep an eye out for a feed from the guard bot. I hope so. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Lettuce Direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next light. Get lit. We're with Rick from GoPro. Now, Rick, you guys are just blowing it up with this, uh, with your GoPro camera system. You launched the, uh, the HD Hero 2, which uh, added so many new features and improved the on the image quality. Yeah. But you guys are taking it to the next level here with adding so many additional features that people have been asking for. Yeah, so one of the big uh, features that the professional crowd has been asking for is they love the camera um, and they love the footage. As consumers, we love the footage that comes directly off the camera. As professionals, sometimes they have a hard time matching that up with the, other, uh, with the other cameras that they're using in their production. So we came up with ProTune, and ProTune mode will be a firmware, a free firmware upgrade for the HD Hero 2 camera that'll be available in a couple months. And what you do is download it, put it on the camera, and that'll allow you to, it ups the bit rate from 15 to 35 megabits per second, allow you to shoot in 24p, and essentially gives you, as a consumer would see as me, I'd see a more neutral gray image, but what that does for the professional is allows them to adjust the color, to match the, the color of their other shots. So it really takes it up to the next level, really gives that uh, the professional what they need. So I can see the, the GoPro becoming less of a novelty shot that you throw in and more of something that you actually can mix in completely with your existing footage for any level of production. Yeah, I mean, we think so. Um, you know, all the video that you see around here shot 100% on GoPro. You know, we, we, we obviously are going to shoot only on our camera and we approach things differently. But I think other people will start seeing, like, how they can incorporate GoPro more and more. 
And you know, this might I could see this being an affordable alternative to even a wide angle lens that, you know, for a DSLR shooter or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something that it's it's light, it's easy to pull out. You know, we see a lot of people, especially in surf photography, they've got their they've got their underwater and then they've got the GoPro mounted on top. So it's definitely a versatile camera, definitely one that people are adding more and more and more into their mix. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. So what other features are you featuring today? So uh, this is the Wi-Fi. This is the Wi-Fi backpack, and uh, this will be available in a couple months as well. This is it. Can it is fully controlled by this remote control right here. So anything you can do on the cameras, changing modes, uh, obviously recording and taking pictures, you can do on this remote control. You can. It will operate about 300 feet away and it will control not only one camera but up to 50 cameras with this one remote control. Additionally, we will have an app for both Android and iOS devices, iPad, iPhone, um, that will allow you to not only um, control the camera but see what the camera's seeing so you get that live preview mode. So if you're in a car and you're setting up the cameras on top, you can see what the camera sees. You know you're, know you're getting the right angle that you want to get. Additionally, another cool feature for it will, after you're done, you can pull those shots, those stills and those videos right from the camera onto your iPad. And then if you're, you know, consumer or DP and you just want to share some of those photos right there from the iPad, send them off right away, right there. It's awesome. And yeah. what's the price going to be on the, the back? The, the backpack and remote combo kit will be $99. Sounds good to me. And the app will be free. That's great. Yeah. Well, thanks, Rick. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor.